welcome to our channel drugs is no stack so here we begin with the ninth class the poem the lake ile of industry so textbook behave so it is the poem written by william butler it so here are some of the question answers you saw today thinking about the poem what kind of places is place is industry think about it so the options are given the three things are the poet want to do when he goes back there you have to write the three things of what he want to do and first stanza and what he hears and sees there and its effect on him that is in second stanza and the third is question uh, what he hears in his heart core even when he was far away from in his free that is stanza fifth so our answers are as follows here answers the poet wants to build a small cabin of clay and wattles so the b answer he want to plant nine rows of beans then c is he want to keep honey bees hive and now the second one he hears the cricket song and then he holds uh, the lin- linnets flying in the sky he sees glimmering midnight and glowing rooms then the third one is when the poet is far away from the industry he hears the sound of the lake water washing the shore in his heart core so second question is by now you may have concluded that in this place is a simple natural place full of beauty and peace how does the poet contrast it with where he now stands read stanza number 3 so according to the stanza number 3 the poet contrasts the clay and the wattle made cabin be loud glad morning with dews and cricket songs then midnight with glimmer noon with purple glow evening with linnet songs lake water lapping with sound low sound by the shore etc this was the explanation of the poet here now the question is do you think in his brain is only a place or state of mind does the poet actually miss the place of his boyhood days answer although in his brain is uh, the poet uh, by who haunt it also represents his state of mind the poet wishes to escape to in his brain as it is more peaceful than where he is now the city in his brain is representative of what the poet considers an ideal place to live which is devoid of the let humdrum of his life yes the poet actually misses the place of his boyhood days even when he is always from away from in his brain he recalls the sound of the lake water washing the shore our main big questions are look at the words the poet uses to describe what he is and hears at in his brain first one be loud glad second one is evening full of the linnet's wing and third is lake water lapping with low sound then what picture do this words create in your mind so the answer first is this words bring to our mind the image of buzzing bee second answer is this words bring up the image of linnet flying across an evening sky this is uh, the third answer is this words evoke not only the image but also the soft sound of lake water washing the shore now look at these words peace comes dropping slow dropping from the wells of the morning to where the cricket sings what do this words mean to you what do you think comes dropping slow from the wells of the morning what does to where the cricket sings mean so your answer is 
the given lines indicate that a peace of mind can be slowly acquired from the natural surroundings it is peace that uh, comes dropping flow from the veil of the morning the phrase to where the cricket swings indicates a peaceful place where one can hear the vibrant sound of the nature sound such as the song of the crickets at the time of dawn so here according to the question uh, the poem question is finished so this is uh, the down the nose thank you